Every SRL you have in the field right now may no longer be ANSI compliant after the new standard goes into effect August 1st, 2023. Before I tell you what's going to happen with your current devices, let's first get you up to speed with what's happening. The major changes are the way SRDs are organized by class, type, testing methods, and much more. What you need to know now is that your current devices may no longer be ANSI compliant after the deadline. It doesn't mean you can't use them. Of course, they still work. It just means that if they aren't certified to the new ANSI standard, they will no longer be ANSI compliant and therefore will default to being only OSHA compliant. So if your existing products won't be certified to the new ANSI standards and you need to stay compliant, those products will need to be removed from service. Now, how do you know if your products will be certified to the new standard? You'll need to see what plan your fall protection manufacturer has for your existing products. If they don't have a plan, then you'll need to start preparing your own plan to remain ANSI compliant. So to recap, first check with your fall protection manufacturer. Will they be certifying your existing products? If they are, you may just need new labels for those products. Again, if they aren't certifying your products, you'll either need to remove them from service or be okay with those products defaulting to OSHA only compliance. Some manufacturers are not even prepared for the update and may not be able to support you. The good news is that Falltech SRL products are already up to date with the new class one and class two performance and markings. And we already have a plan for you with your existing products. So get in touch with us now. For more information on the new ANSI standard that you need to know, you can check out our extended video that goes into more details or check out the blog article we have at falltech.com. Tap the link below. We hope to hear from you soon.